everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. I am stuck in the beast nest. And I mean stuck. There are also some place there's this really creepy, like, uh, Princess Mononoke look at, or, uh, not Princess Mononoke, um, that other one. Uh, uh, spirited away looking um, horror that pops out of a wall. And it it's just creepy. And I, I don't I can't I don't remember where it was, but I remember in my you know, my actual file. I remember just going like what what is going on here? Okay. Hey, uh, I hate to bother you, Hornet, but do you know the way out? Perhaps? <laughs> like... Whoa, hey. Hey, bunny. We just came through here. This is so dumb, because of my practice file, I got out without ever finding the beast. So, I didn't even know, like... And now I just can't find the way out. There it is. Alright, cool. So, one of the things I want to do here... Yeah, and now these guys are all dead. Bench is all crappy. You can actually skip past that if you know exactly where to go. You can jump around them and get up there, but... But why? Alright, so now, let's go check our grub rewards, see what we've got. See if we have enough to buy, you know, unbreakable greed or whatever. Because that would be alright. I mean, I don't think we will just from grub rewards, but... I mean, it is a lot. I'm gonna get a king's idol and a pale ore. Oh, awesome. So 
So, I wonder how much it costs to, um, well, let's try. I can smell it. Another gift made for me. Give it to me. Yes. Ah, ah. Such a little beauty. Such a smell. Such a smell. Ah. Ah, so good. So tasty. A perfect, perfect thing just for me. Ah. Again, you're so greedy for gifts. Poor little... Lovely, give me your geode, I will give you your gift. Okay, so we... <laughs> so we don't have enough geo, which is fine. I was expecting us not to have enough geo. Oh, one of the things I want to check out is... Um, this. Oh, where is it? No, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, Okay, so it is this. Right here. So now we let out this odor, right? Can you smell something? There's suddenly a hard stench in the air. I swear the town usually smells much nicer than this. Please accept my humble apology. To reach dirt, dirt mouth, most travelers take cir circuit circuitous routes around the cliffs beside us. It's a hard trek now, but in the kingdom's primes, things were far simpler. There's an old pass in the cliffs that once allowed easy access. The bridge up to it has long since crumbled away, and even without it, a huge door bars entry. I can't complain, mind you. It's meant we've only ever had to accommodate a trickle of travelers, even during our busiest times. I wouldn't want hordes of bugs to descend on Dirtmouth. I like the quiet. Akala, Precept 2 never laugh at anything. Fools laugh at everything, even at their superiors. But beware, laughter isn't harmless. Laughter spreads like a disease, and soon everyone is laughing at you. You need to strike at the source of the perverse merriment quickly to stop it from spreading. Precept 3 always be rested. Fighting and adventuring take their toll on your body. When you rest, your body strengthens and repairs itself. The longer you rest, the stronger you become. Precept 4, forget your past. The past is painful, and thinking about your past can only bring you misery. Think about something else instead, such as the future or some food. Precept 5, strength beats strength. If your opponent is your opponent strong, no matter, simply overcome their strength with even more strength, and they'll soon be defeated. Precept 6, choose your own fate. Our elders teach that our fate is chosen for us before we are even born. I disagree. Precept 7, mourn not the dead. When we die, do things get better for us or worse? There's no way to tell, so we shouldn't bother mourning or celebrating for that matter. Precept 8, travel alone. You can rely on nobody and nobody will always be loyal. Therefore, nobody should be your constant companion. Precept 9, keep your home tidy. Your home is where you keep your most prized possession, yourself. Therefore, you should make an effort to keep it nice and clean. Precept 10, keep your weapon sharp. I make sure that my weapon, Life Ender, is well, kept well sharpened at all times. This makes it much easier to cut things. Precept 11, mothers will always betray you. What is going on here? 
This precept explains itself. Precept 12, keep your cloak dry. If your cloak gets wet, dry it as soon as you can. Wearing wet clo cloaks is unpleasant and can lead to illness. Precept 13, never be afraid. Fear can only hold you back. Facing your fears can be a tremendous effort. Therefore, you should just not be afraid in the first place. Precept 14, respect your superiors. If someone is your superior in strength or intellect or both, you need to show them your respect. Don't ignore them or laugh at them. Precept 15, one foe, one blow. You should only use a single blow to defeat an enemy. Any more is a waste. Also, by counting your blows as you fight, you'll know how many foes you've defeated. <laughs> Precept 16, don't hesitate. Once you've made a decision, carry it out, and don't look back, you'll achieve much more this way. Precept 17, believe in your strength. Others may doubt you, but there's someone you can always trust. Yourself! Make sure to believe in your own strength, and you will never falter. How many of these did they write? Precept 18, seek truth in the darkness. This precept also explains itself. Precept 19, if you try, succeed. If you're going to attempt something, make sure you achieve it. If you do not succeed, then you have actually failed. Avoid this at all costs. Precept 20, speak only the truth. When speaking to someone, it is courteous and also efficient to speak truth truthfully. Beware, though, that speaking truthfully they may, may make you enemies. That is something you'll have to bear. Precept 21, be aware of your surroundings. Don't just walk along staring at the ground. You'll need to look up every so often to make sure nothing takes you by surprise. Precept 22, abandon the nests. As soon as you could, I left my birthplace and made my way out into the world. Do not linger in the nest. There is nothing for you there. Precept 23, identify the foe's weak point. Every foe you encounter has a weak point, such as a crack in their shell or being asleep. <laughs> you must constantly be alert and scrutinizing your enemy to detect their weakness. Precept 24, strike the foe's weak point. Once you've identified your foe's weak point as per the previous precept, strike it. This will instantly destroy them. Precept 25, protect your own weak point. Be aware that your foe will try to identify your weak point, so you must protect it. The best protection, never having a weak point in the first place. Precept 26, don't trust your reflection. When peering at certain shining surfaces, you may see a copy of your own face. The face will mimic your movements and seem similar to your own, but I don't think it can be trusted. Precept 27, eat as much as you can. When having a meal, eat as much as you possibly can. This gives you extra energy. It means you can eat less frequently. Precept 28, don't peer into the darkness. If you peer into the darkness and can't see anything for too long, your mind will start to linger over old memories. Memories are to be avoided, as per Precept 4. Precept 29, develop your sense of direction. It's easy to get lost when traveling through winding, twisting caverns. Having a good sense of direction is like having a magical map inside of your head. Very useful. Precept 30. Never accept a promise. Spurn the promises of others as they are always broken. Promises of love or betrothal are to be avoided especially. Precept 31. Disease lives inside of dirt. <laughs> You'll get sick if you spend too much time in filthy places. If you are staying in someone else's home, demand the highest level of cleanliness from your host. Precept 32. Names have power. Names have power. And so to name something is to grant it power. I myself I, I myself name my nail life ender. Do not steal the name I came up with. Invent your own. <laughs> like... Precept 33, show the enemy no respect. Being gallant to your enemy is no virtue. If someone opposes you, they don't deserve respect or kindness or mercy. Whew. Precept 34, don't eat immediately before sleeping. This can cause restlessness and indigestion. It's just common sense. Precept 35, up is up, down is down. If you fall over in the darkness, it can be easy to lose your bearing and forget which way is up. Keep this precept in mind. Precept 36, eggshells are brittle. Once again, this precept explains itself. Precept 37, borrow but do not lend. If you lend and are repaid, you gain nothing. If you borrow but do not repay, you gain everything. 
Precept 38, beware the mysterious force. A mysterious force bears down on us from above, pushing us downward. If you spend too long in the air, the force will crush you against the ground and destroy you. Beware. Precept 39, eat quickly and drink slowly. Your body is a delicate thing and you must feel it with great deliberation. Food must go in as fast as possible, but fluids at a slower rate. Precept 40, obey no law but your own. Laws written by others may inconvenience you or be a burden. Let your own desires be the only law. Precept 41. Learn to detect lies. When others speak, they usually lie. Scrutinize and question them relentlessly until they reveal their deceit. Precept 42. Spend geo when you have it. Some will cling on to their geo, even taking it into the dirt with them when they die. It is better to spend it when you can, so you can enjoy various things in life. Okay, when we come back, the rest of, like, the 57 or whatever precepts of Zote. Bye, everybody.